1300 furnace road. Real quiet street. Really barely any traffic at all back here. To the right, you can't even see our neighbor because of so much brush and woods. It's a good thing. To the left, our neighbor looks well kept. Front side of the roof looks good. There's some different types of siding they got going on, but most of the white siding you see is in pretty good shape. And then there's the black stuff that looks like wood up top there. This front porch area isn't heated or air conditioned. Um, just needs a little clean up on the outside, looks like. Looks pretty sturdy though. Driveway is long, in pretty good shape. Yeah, two car carport back here. And like I said, there's like no neighbor over like directly to the side. There's no neighbor. Their house is all the way back there. And look at the carport roof, maybe. Really big backyard. And it looks like a kind of beat up shed back here. It doesn't look too bad, it just looks like it's old. Big backyard. Okay. Roof on the back looks good. Here on the side. I don't know, I've never seen cracking like that. It feels sturdy on the inside, so I don't know if it's that bad. Go down to the Oh, I hope that works still. Sweet. Um, down to the basement, there's no access from in the house. Oh my god. Okay. I don't think it's finishable. See the step up right here. It goes from like 6'2 over in this area. 6'5 everywhere else. Slap sink set up, um, heating in it, or just heat. The ductwork looks fine. Hot water heater and the plumbing looks good. Except it is, um, I guess it's well and septic, or well, whatever. The pump looks like it could use a little work. It's a little rusty. And then last 
down here. We got a nice looking new wiring panel, 200 amps. No sump pump down there right now. Sorry, getting the spiders out of my hair. Let's do the back door off. You can start at the front. The floors are pretty even all around. I just feel a soft spot in the wood right there. But when I looked at the beams downstairs, there's no termite damage, there's a little bit of mold. This is the sunroom area. It's got four sliders and a front door it looks like. It's all paneling in here and I think we need new sliders. And there's no uh, heat supply out there. This room is drywall, the rest of the house besides one bedroom is paneling. The living area in here dining oh I think I did find a little bit of termite damage so it could be worse could be why it feels like the floor is soft right here oh yeah I could kick through the floor if I wanted um, ceilings are all paneling. And back to the kitchen. Good size, it does a uh, step down right here. Slider back here as well. All the windows are wooden. Connected to the kitchen is a full bath. It's the only full bath. We have this just a little storage closet. See the plumbing back here? It's all copper. Maybe a few repairs, but it looks pretty good. Smaller bedrooms, just kind of two small bedrooms and a bigger one. You have to walk through a bedroom to get to one of the bedrooms. Though, so, all paneling in here, pretty small built in closet. This is a bigger room. And then in the last room, which is pretty small, I think it's seven foot six inches wide, eleven feet long. Closet built in right here. 